Mm -hmm. I think it's good. Yeah, I like that one. It, it tastes like Christmas, but it's Pepper good. nuts from Kansas. <laughs> Hey friends, this week I'm making peppernuts or pfeffernus, which is the popular state dessert for Kansas. If you've been following along, I've been making a popular state dessert every week for the entire year, alphabetically, and this week we're on Kansas. I'm going to show you how I made these. I started with putting um, all my dry ingredients in one bowl, which was flour, a whole bunch of spices, including allspice, ginger, clove, some black pepper, and a little bit of salt and then some baking soda and I stirred this all together. I'll put the recipe in the description. Now let's get the wet ingredients together. It was a stick of butter, three quarters cup of brown sugar. And now here is the thing with this recipe. I saw so many different ways to make this. Some use molasses, some just use brown sugar, some used caro syrup, that dark caro syrup. So really, I think there are quite a few different ways to make this. And I also saw some pepper nuts are crunchy and some are soft. So I did choose a recipe where I knew that they would be a little more soft because because I thought that would be a better tasting cookie. So I added those wet ingredients, including an egg, and I whipped it for about three minutes until it was nice and light colored. And then I'm just going to stir in the dry ingredients a little bit at a time until they're fully incorporated. I do have to say that making these popular state desserts each week is so much fun. It's like a scavenger hunt to make sure I have all the ingredients, find a recipe that seems pretty authentic and actually something that we might want to eat as well, and then making it. And it's been, it's been really enjoyable so far. Now this dough needs to go in the fridge and chill for about two or three hours. So I just added some saran wrap to the counter and then just put that dough right on top of it. And then I pressed it kind of flat so it would chill a little bit faster in the fridge. And now once that is chilled, I just took my medium scoop and scooped little balls onto a pan. And these, and these little balls were about an inch and a half or so in diameter. And I just scoop them with the scoop and then just form them into a little better shape of a ball. And I just did this with that whole block of dough. It did end up making about 40 cookies. Once I had one pan done, then I just started a new one. And some of these I did have to roll a little bit so they looked nice when I got towards the end. I put those in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes and they came out looking like this. They were supposed to crack a little on the top so that looks perfect. You only let those cool for five minutes and then you want to just drench them in some powdered sugar while they're still warm. So I just scooped all of these into a bowl with powdered sugar and then shook that all around. And they're pretty safe to shake around. They're not too delicate, even though these are a very nice soft cookie, they were um, not too delicate, so this worked out fine. And then I just added those on a cooling rack and then let those cool. I think Peppernut is the English name and Pfeffernus is the German name. I believe this cookie originates in Germany. Whatever it is, it was good. It had a nice, light, spicy flavor. At this point, our house smelled just like Christmas morning. I would definitely recommend making these and I'm even thinking of making these as one of my staple Christmas cookies because they were so good. Here's our reaction to them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hold her because you're gonna hold the cookies <laughs> okay honey you ready to try these peppernoose cookies or pepper nuts as they are called maybe in... i am ready it smells like christmas morning in this house it's in really Jesus. a nice fit look at this little turkey cat okay all right she wants to be in the video <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so everybody knows you're here. They can hear you. That is surprisingly tender. I mm -hmm. thought it would be real crispy. But that's got a good flavor. Kind of a spicy, spicy. like a spice cake mm -hmm. bowl. Looks like you tied. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's good. Yeah, I like that one. It, it tastes like Christmas, but it's Pepper good. Pepper nuts from Kansas. 
<laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.